ever pondered how emotions and perceptions can affect the rise and fall of stock markets? Well, let's take a fascinating journey into the world of finance, a realm where psychology and stock markets intertwine in a dance of numbers, emotions, and perceptions. Traditionally, we've seen the stock market as a rational and logical system. Yet, beneath this veneer of numbers and trends lies a deeply human element. Enter the realm of behavioral finance, a field that combines psychology and economics, casting a spotlight on the irrationality of traders and investors. A key player in this psychological drama is fear. Imagine the stock market takes a sudden nosedive, panic sets in, investors scramble to sell their shares out of fear of losing their hard-earned money. This mass exodus can further plummet stock prices, creating a vicious cycle of fear and loss. On the other side of the coin, we have greed. Picture a booming market. The lure of quick profits can lead investors to throw caution to the wind and buy shares indiscriminately. Greed can inflate stock prices beyond their actual value, creating a bubble that could eventually burst, causing substantial financial damage. And then there's the herd mentality. Humans by nature are social creatures. We tend to follow the crowd, believing there's safety in numbers. In stock markets, this can result in investors buying or selling stocks based on what others are doing, rather than on careful analysis of market trends. This herd behavior can significantly distort stock prices, leading to market booms and crashes. In this intricate dance of fear, greed, and herd mentality, behavioral finance provides invaluable insights. It helps us understand why stock markets don't always behave as we expect them to. It sheds light on the human element that adds an unpredictable twist to the tale of stock markets. As we unravel the mysteries of the stock market, remember, it's not just about numbers, but also about understanding human behavior. Let's dive into the past, to the turn of the millennium, when the dot-com bubble burst, a classic example of how psychology can influence the stock market. Picture this, it's the late 90s. The internet is a new, exciting frontier and tech startups are popping up everywhere like mushrooms after a rainstorm. Investors are captivated by the allure of these tech companies, despite many of them having no proven business models or even any revenue. This period, known as the dot-com boom, was characterized by overconfidence and a herd mentality among investors. Overconfidence is a psychological bias where an individual overestimates their own abilities or the accuracy of their predictions. In the context of the dot-com boom, this manifested as investors, both institutional and individual, believing they could pick the next big winner in the dot-com lottery. This overconfidence led to a speculative frenzy, where the prices of internet-related stocks soared to unprecedented heights, far beyond what could be justified by any conventional measure of value. Meanwhile, the herd mentality was also at play. This is a psychological phenomenon where individuals are influenced by their peers to adopt certain behaviors, follow trends, or purchase items. In the stock market, this can lead to investors buying or selling stocks based on what everyone else is doing, rather than their own analysis or judgment. During the dot-com boom, the fear of missing out or FOMO took hold. As stories of overnight millionaires spread, more and more investors jumped on the bandwagon, further inflating stock prices. This irrational exuberance, a term coined by former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan, led to a bubble. As with all bubbles, it eventually had to burst. And when it did, in early 2000, the fallout was catastrophic. Companies that had once been stock market darlings were wiped out, and investors who had been swept up in the frenzy were left with significant losses. The Nasdaq Composite, which is heavily weighted towards tech stocks, lost a staggering 78% of its value from its peak in March 2000 to its trough in October 2002. The dot-com bubble serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of letting psychological biases cloud our judgment. It shows us that the stock market isn't a one-way ticket to riches, and that irrational exuberance can lead to inflated stock prices and market crashes. It reminds us that we need to be aware of our own biases and make investment decisions based on sound analysis rather than emotions or the actions of the herd. The dot-com bubble serves as a reminder that the stock market isn't immune to the psychological biases of its participants. 
The aftermath of the dot com bubble burst left investors with valuable lessons. Now, how can traders protect themselves from falling prey to these psychological traps? Let's delve into some effective strategies to mitigate psychological biases in stock trading. First, think diversification. Spreading your investments across a variety of assets can significantly reduce the risk of severe losses. It's like not putting all your eggs in one basket. Diversification helps to smooth out market volatility and can potentially improve your overall returns. Next, it's crucial to set clear investment goals. Having a defined goal can help anchor your decision-making process and prevent you from succumbing to emotional responses. It can keep you focused during market turbulence, helping you to stay the course and resist the temptation of short-term gains that might derail your long-term plans. Additionally, it's essential to avoid herd mentality. The stock market is not a popularity contest. Just because everyone else is investing in a particular stock doesn't mean you should too. Be a contrarian. Think for yourself and make decisions based on your research and analysis, not on what's trending. Moreover, staying informed is a key part of successful investing. Keep abreast of market trends, financial news, and the performance of your investments. Knowledge is power, and the more informed you are, the better equipped you'll be to make rational decisions. It's also important to remember that investing is not a race. Patience is a virtue in the stock market. Don't be swayed by the fear of missing out. Take the time to thoroughly research your investments and don't rush into decisions. One more thing to bear in mind is the importance of managing your emotions. The stock market can be a roller coaster ride and it's easy to get caught up in the excitement or panic. But remember, emotional decisions often lead to poor investment choices. Try to stay calm and level headed, even in the face of market fluctuations. Lastly, consider seeking professional advice. Financial advisors and investment professionals can provide valuable insights and help you navigate the complexities of the stock market. They can also help you identify and overcome your psychological biases. These strategies are not foolproof and they won't completely eliminate the risk of loss, but they can help you become a more informed and rational investor. They can protect you from the psychological traps that have ensnared so many traders in the past. Remember, informed decision-making is your best defense against the psychological pitfalls in stock trading. As we conclude, it's clear that the interplay of psychology and the stock market is complex and impactful. The invisible hand guiding the market isn't just economic theory or financial data. It's also the collective mindset of millions of investors, their fears, hopes and biases playing out on a grand scale. We've seen how this psychological factor manifested in the dot-com bubble at the turn of the millennium. A stock market frenzy driven by irrational exuberance led to inflated tech stock prices, with investors driven more by the fear of missing out than by sound financial judgment. When the bubble finally burst, it served as a stark reminder of how psychology can steer market trends and how it can lead to financial turmoil when left unchecked. To avoid falling into the same trap, we discussed various strategies to mitigate these psychological biases. One of them is to maintain a long-term perspective, which can help insulate against short-term market volatility and prevent knee-jerk reactions based on temporary market sentiments. Another strategy is to diversify your portfolio. By spreading investments across a variety of assets, you can reduce the impact of any single investment going south. This strategy also encourages you to make decisions based on a broader view of the market, rather than getting fixated on a single stock or sector. Lastly, we highlighted the importance of continuous learning and staying informed. The stock market is ever-changing, and to navigate it successfully, one needs to stay abreast of market trends, financial news, and economic indicators. But equally important is the need to understand your own psychological biases and how they can cloud your judgment. So next time you're about to make a trading decision, take a moment to reflect. Are you being rational or is your decision clouded by psychological biases? Remember, the stock market game is as much about mastering your mind as it is about understanding the market.